So, my customer came to me again as usual and said, hey, Precision, you know, I don't like the position where they put the USB thumb drive because there's no protection in between the two seats and the armrest. And the problem with the location that they picked, let me shut this off is that you can easily bump it with your arm or elbow or if you lean over or if someone is a little bit overweight and they happen to take up a little bit more of the seat they could actually crush the thumb drive which in this case it happened so this is not the original usb connection because the original usb connection for this car has an auxiliary as you can see right here I wasn't able to get the original auxiliary because the customer is basically on a budget and this auxiliary whole assembly goes for about 235 bucks so that's almost the cost of a radio so my customer was like she's not going to pay for that if i could find something else and i looked around and there wasn't anything that would just fit snug so i had to go with but instead of having both the usb as well as the auxiliary in one assembly we had to go the cheaper route and get the just a standalone usb the nice thing about this is it fits in snug i don't have to do any extra cutting and also we were able to get the harness from the donor vehicle so i'm just going to convert that harness over to the vehicle's harness without cutting it just make a little simple modification and i'm going to relocate the usb and the auxiliary extension port in the factory glove box and if all goes well everything should work out fine hopefully everything goes well so i'm just going to show you guys how i wire everything up and here we go to jump right into the video so i got the usb cable from the donor vehicle as well as two or one usb cable that i just cut in half so i'm just going to jump all of the terminals to one unit so i'm just going to match all the colors red on red blue on blue green on green and white so i'm just going to run through all the soldering just to make sure that the wires doesn't fall off then i'm going to wrap everything up with heat shrinking tubing just to secure all the connections from any moisture or any shortage so we're just going to run through that real quick going to shrink everything down with a little bit of flame and as you can see i'm actually burning down my carpet or my towel it's all good, Whoa! It's all good. that was just to protect everything else mainly the vehicle from getting burnt so we're going to heat shrink everything down. Once that's done, just going to wrap everything up there. I got a big hole in that. Yeah, it's not that bad, but yeah, whatever. Let me slap this tape on the harness. Just finalize everything up, make it nice and neat. You want to keep the wires as close as possible. This way you knock out all the possibilities of noise getting into the um, signal. You want to try to keep the wires as short as possible. So that gray connector is going to be plugged into the factory unit coming from the car. So I didn't cut anything. I just modified the connector from the new unit as well as the output connector from the broken one that was damaged. So I'm just going to tape up all the connectors to make everything look nice oh, and neat. So here we are with the main connection. But the nice thing and the purpose of this video is to show you guys that you can actually split a USB cable into two jacks and it'll work. The only downside is you can't put two USBs in the drive simultaneously. What will happen is it will play the first or the fastest USB thumb drive or thumb stick or whatever you call these things. So I'm going to show you guys that it actually works. So as you see, the radio is here. We got the radio station right now. So I'm just going to let it play because I don't think this is copyrighted music. And we're just going to slap this thumb drive in its place. All right. So it detects. It plays. That's the song body. 
So I'm gonna take it out by Ja Rule. So that's the glove box. So mind you, it's the same connection, there's no converter, nothing. It's just me splitting the wire in two and bridging them together. So I put that in here. It also plays. So as you can see, there's nothing in there. And it's in here, it's lighting up, it's flashing, it's doing all that it has to do in order to work. Take it out, put it in the glove box. And I'm going to just, it's more safer here because it's a less likely chance that it could be damaged in here. So all she has to do is load all her music in there, close the glove box, and she's all ready and set to go. And it works. I'm able to change the tracks. This thumb drive is corrupt, so maybe the tracks will look kind of funny, but it actually works. Some of the tracks are corrupt. See, it works. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing with this. So you guys can see there's no trick a -roo or skip a -roo. It works flawlessly. Same thing. So if you don't know, now you know that you can split a USB cable and it will actually work. 